Clarissa Ward has been speaking with her contacts within the Syrian rebel forces, and Clarissa joins us now from just over the border in Turkey. Clarissa, what has the reaction been to the bombing? Scott, in one word, jubilation. We've heard reports of people in mosques erupting into cheers when they heard the news. And of course, the Free Syrian Army is touting this as a major triumph and the beginning of the end for the Assad regime. Twice inside Syria, you've linked up with the rebel forces. Help us remember how the Free Syrian Army got started. Well, it started out as a trickle of uh, Syrian soldiers who claimed that they refused orders to fire on civilians. They deserted to form the Free Syrian Army. Within months, there were dozens of groups across the country, but with no clear coordination or command structure. In February, we spent time with rebel fighters in Idlib, a hotbed of resistance in the north. Most of the fighters we met were farmers and workers with little military training. Homemade bombs. They told us they had no choice. They had to fight after government forces shot peaceful protesters. Their weapons were no match for the army's tanks and artillery. Even bullets were scarce. Now the fighters appear to be better organized and armed. Rebels told us they confiscated many of their weapons from government forces or bought them on the black market. This opposition video appears to show free Syrian army soldiers operating a tank commandeered from the Syrian military. But this was an exception. The rebels have relied mostly on homemade roadside bombs to pierce the military's heavy armor. So after all these months, the question becomes, are the rebels any more unified than they used to be? Talking to rebels on the ground, it's clear that there is still no centralized chain of command or coordination among the various groups. And one major concern is that because of that vacuum, extremists are making their way into Syria, claiming to act on behalf of the opposition and already f further muddying an already deeply complex situation. Clarissa, thank you.